So many people are suffering from chronic elevated inflammation. Does hyperbaric help reduce inflammation levels inside of our body? There's never been a time in human history with this number of people suffering from chronic illness. What we need to do is not necessarily look for all the answers for every detail about every chronic illness that somebody is suffering from. We need to start looking for why is that a pattern that's happening to us? And ultimately, are there similarities between all of these different diseases? And if there are, how do we treat that? Because that would be getting to the root cause underneath why so many people are suffering from chronic illness. Two of the biggest factors that are absolutely influencing chronic illness in every single case is going to be mitochondrial dysfunction and increased inflammation. The mitochondria is the little part inside your cell that's in charge of making cellular energy. You need to make cellular energy in order for your cells to be able to have the juice that they need to do all the different things your cells need to do in your body. And your liver cells need to detoxify you and your brain cells need to communicate with your body and your, your endocrine system needs to produce hormones. Your neurons need to produce neurotransmitters. All of this stuff takes energy. And if your mitochondria aren't working properly, they can't make energy. Inflammation causes what's called nociception, causes pain, causes discomfort. It causes your body to feel uncomfortable or painful on a regular basis. You can have 20 people lined up and you can cause the same type of injury to all 20 people. Some people will be like, oh, I didn't really feel much. And somebody else is like, oh, that really hurt. The difference between those two people in many cases is the amount of inflammation that was already there before the insult happened. People who are chronically inflamed feel everything so much more magnified than somebody who doesn't have chronic inflammation. And that changes their entire quality of life. It also pushes them down a cascade of chronic disease. And so what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to help heal the mitochondria so that the cells can produce the energy they need to function properly. And we need to have a tool that can reduce inflammation so that we can bring those inflammatory levels down and allow those cells to actually be in, in an environment conducive to healing in the first place. While hyperbaric is not the singular answer of curing all chronic illness, hyperbaric does absolutely and definitively, non-controversially, improve mitochondrial function and reduce inflammation. So it's one tool that is capable of helping patients deal with both of those areas. In most of my lectures, you know that I'm a big fan of combining different therapies in order to be fully and completely covering all the different variations that a patient might be dealing with. But at the same time, I'm looking to simplify patient care to say, well, if there's one tool that can do multiple pieces, that should probably be in the mix. And again, hyperbaric is definitely one of those tools. What does hyperbaric do for mitochondria? Number one, mitochondria require oxygen. It's the rate limiting step to ATP production, cellular energy requires oxygen, and the amount of oxygen that you can feed your mitochondria is one of the rate limiting steps to how much energy you can produce. And so just by going in the chamber, just by getting increased oxygen levels inside your blood, you're going to be delivering increased oxygen to the mitochondria, improving mitochondrial performance. That's number one. Number two, because you're now doing this repetitively, this therapy, you know, a few times a week for weeks at a time, the body starts to see this increased oxygen and so the mitochondria start to actually grow in size to make sure that they're able to actually metabolize that oxygen and not let it go to waste. So number one, you're just driving more oxygen to the mitochondria to allow for more ATP. Number two, the mitochondria are going to grow in size to now pull that oxygen in and utilize it properly. And number three, long term, your body's actually going to make more mitochondria more mitochondrial density. In other words, let's just say your body had 100 mitochondria working at 70% efficiency. As you dump more oxygen into that system, you might get them from 70 to 75 to 80 to 85% efficiency. So you're having an effect on that process. Then your mitochondria are going to grow. So instead of 85% efficiency, it's going to get to 90% efficiency. And then if you keep doing the therapy long enough, instead of 100 mitochondria, maybe now you have 200 or 300 mitochondria all working at 90% efficiency. That's going to have massive, cumulative, and exponential effect on how much cellular energy your body's going to be able to make. If you think this information is helpful and you're benefiting from any of the videos that we're putting out, we're trying to get this information to other people who are also looking for it. 
When you hit that like button, when you hit that subscribe button, YouTube really likes that. And when YouTube likes it, it helps other people find us faster. So please hit those buttons so that YouTube knows that this is important. And ultimately that'll allow more people to find us and find this information. How does hyperbaric help on the inflammatory side? We know absolutely through all of the research that hyperbaric helps to not only reduce the inflammatory cytokines, okay? So cytokines are chemical messengers inside your body that are constantly part of your immune system and they're constantly monitoring and dealing with inflammation. So we can reduce the inflammatory cytokines, but at the same time, we can increase the anti-inflammatory cytokines. So you already have cytokines, chemicals in your body that reduce the inflammation in your body and hyperbaric decreases the inflammatory chemicals and increases your body's own natural anti-inflammatory chemicals. Hyperbaric also increases what's called the regulatory cytokines. So you also have chemical messengers, cytokines in your body that are managing inflammation. They're trying to keep everything in balance. And hyperbaric increases the cytokines responsible for the maintenance of that balance. So we get a reduced inflammation, we get an increased anti-inflammation, and then we get an increased regulatory system in your immune system, helping to keep that inflammation under control for the long term. And so again, it's not the cure for every illness by any stretch, but it is a tool that's delivering oxygen in a massive amount, much more than you can get any other way. And as a result, it's gonna restore and improve mitochondrial function, and it's gonna reduce and balance inflammation inside your body, helping many, many patients suffering from chronic illness. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoy the information. Thanks again, see you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath, or an acupuncturist, or a DO, or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.